Hi everyone and welcome back to the Digital Nomad World Weekly Lecture. I'm Becca and I'm your host today and I'm going to be speaking with Graham from Next Stand oh. and he's going to be talking to us about everything to do with the correct posture and the perfect workspace which I think is going to be great for digital nomads because we're always on the go and it can be difficult to kind of find the perfect way to have your laptop and yeah, so he's going to tell us everything about Next Stand. So welcome, Graham. Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, it's good yeah, to be here. Thank you for joining. Um, I'm going to start by just asking you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Obviously, I've spoken with you, so I know a bit of your background. But um, yeah, can you just give us a little introduction about yourself and what you do? Yeah, sure. OK, so my name is Graham Kay. And um, for my sins, I've been a, a workplace assessor for more years than I can care to um, count so o over 20 odd years um, and what does a workplace assessor do um, that means you typically work on contracts with large corporates um, going from office to office or, or uh, location hub to location hub dealing with uh, issues that have arisen from members of staff who are struggling with either um, physical conditions um, predominantly sort of back neck uh, conditions or musculoskeletal conditions uh, through to um, people dealing with uh, mental health conditions or, or, or people that had uh, um, specific learning difficulties like dyslexia, mm -hmm. uh, dyscalculia, et cetera, who needed adjustments to help them as well within the workplace. Um, and that's what I've been doing up until recently. Uh, and now I'm, I'm uh, here on behalf of Next Stand, working with them, and I, I help Next Stand uh, to to talk about these things, talk about uh, uh, you know the need for uh, getting your posture right whenever you're working, wherever it is you're working. Yeah, that's really interesting. I think we kind of um, I don't know. It can be very easy just to go into the workspace and not even think about where you're working from and the importance of it. Um, so I guess now you've given us a little bit of background of what you specialize in. Um, can you tell us about NextStand and what it is? Yeah, well, uh, NextStand is a, a group of products, predominantly uh, laptop um, accessories. Um, the key product is the K2. This is their, their flagship product. Let me show you it here. Um, and these, these are products that are designed to help people work comfortably wherever they are. And that, I think that the key is... With next stand products that that's exactly what it is um obviously if you work within a set position within an office you may have access to a, a, a desk uh, a set position every time your work chair etc but as we've moved into uh, a more modern world I, i'd like to think that you know the pandemic's given us all a little bit of a kick mm -hmm. um, and you know people are now talking about things like remote working, hybrid working, working from home. It's going to become more and more the case that people will work in different places. And therefore, actually, if you think about it, can we necessarily um, give people the adaptions that they need in order to work safely um, that we used to before? Because I don't know about you, but you're not going to, uh, you know, you said you're in Haywards Heath today. Uh, mm -hmm. You might be in, in Brighton tomorrow. Are you going to lump a, a, a you know a six foot desk with you and a chair <laughs> with you, etc.? No. Um, so the majority of people are working off uh, laptops or portable devices, and they need to be able to take their workstation with them, and that's what Next Stand's all about. Um, so items like this can slip into uh, a bag very easily. Ta da just like that. <laughs> and then there's a stand there that you can put your laptop in and will raise the screen of the laptop to a height, which means that you're not leaning over, hunching when you're working, um, and you can find a suitable place to, to, to work with, with a separate keyboard and mouse, and away you go. So I guess um, you said you offer other products as well. Um, which maybe we can get into in a minute, but um, can you, I guess, tell us a little bit about um, where the idea, where the design came from and kind of the, I guess, the benefits of using that, like, on your desk, like, um, I guess, because you'd use a portable 
uh, keyboard and mouse with it, right? Yeah. Well, I guess in terms of the, the evolution, if you like, of laptop stands, let's talk about that, uh, and where the design came from. Um, it's It was trying to find a design that was both portable and actually raised the height to, of the, the screen to the right level. And um, if you think about actually what where some uh, products are still in the market today, they are literally a block yeah. <laughs> that sits underneath uh, your, your laptop and lifts it up, which is fine from the, maybe from the height raising point of view, mm -hmm. but isn't fine from the portability point of view. So the whole idea of that kind of scissor action there was to, to take something that was quite small as a, as a footprint um, and allow it to expand out uh, a bit like an expanding bridge Mm -hmm. um, to to enable the, the laptop to be sitting high when it's being used, but then an, enabling that to be very lightweight and, and portable when you want to slip it into your bag and go. So, um, I mean, funnily enough, we've just written a whole load of posts for social media about the fact that this is not actually new technology in a way. Um, the idea of, not, of having a technology in place that, stopped you sitting with your head down and, and, and hunching over something has been around for years. Um, if, you, if you look at old pictures of monks yeah. working uh, at, you know, in their um, vestries, etc., that they, they had these sloping desks to, to write on parchment. They didn't write on things flat. Um, the same with you know, old school desks weren't flat as well. And do you know what changed all of that? Do you know what changed it? No. The invention of computers so mm -hmm. as technology came in um, we started to accommodate in our furniture the IT <laughs> more than we did the humans to stop things from slipping off desks and to, to keep your laptop safe if you like we made everything mm -hmm. flat but with it we all started to hunch so um, you know what we're doing really is is actually going back <laughs> in time with a modern solution for the, for the modern problem. The modern problem now, and it very much is a modern problem, is that people use laptops predominantly. When I first yes. started out in the business world, hardly anybody had a laptop. Everybody had a desktop computer because laptops were phenomenally expensive. They were only for uh, you know, the very few people. Now, the majority of the machines that are bought out there are laptops or tablet devices. Um, and so people are, that's what people are working on. That's what people are using. Um, but they're not using them. The, the majority still do not use them um, out of the office situation with any kind of adjustment. Um, and it, it's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's quite tempting to just sit on the sofa and use, I mean, I'm guilty of that. I'll get my laptop out if I'm taking a train or sitting anywhere. And I guess you don't really always think about how that's having an impact on your posture. Yeah. Because um, it's, it's more kind of convenient. Thing. It's a cultural thing as well. I mean, it, it, you know, um, Next End have done a, a set of adverts recently or social posts again recently where um, quite shockingly, we, you know, we looked at cigarette advertising in the past. You know, once upon a time, cigarettes were advertised by small babies with cigarettes in their mouth, you know, or doctors smoking a cigarette, mm -hmm. or even, I think there's one gone out on LinkedIn this week, with Father Christmas smoking a cigarette. Now, you just would not even compute that these days mm -hmm. um, because we know what the the effects of smoking are on people's health and we've come to realize that you know it's not all of that's socially unacceptable yeah. and advertising that as, as a health product is definitely unacceptable um, and one of the things that we're really trying to do is call on every company as well if, if if you want to make a difference to your culture in terms of the health and well-being of your people to start thinking about 
the messages that you're the subliminal if you like messages that you're putting out there so every time you you create a post and you put um a, a photo out there of someone you know with a stock imagery of someone sitting there lying down like this on a on a sofa using a computer or just slouching around using a, a, a laptop on your on your lap or whatever with their head down um you're you're giving people this idea that that's okay but it's but it really isn't from a health perspective it really mm -hmm. isn't um so we'd love to see it uh, you know people go no we're going to actually start to use proper imagery for laptops where laptops are in a laptop stand and people are working properly so that you know people start to get the message and you know it needs it needs people at the tops of companies to 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 start doing that right and and filter it all the way down and say this is how we work it might take you a minute or two longer to set up mm -hmm. but ultimately if it means that you're not going to be off work for half a year with a bad back what have you lost in terms of time? What have you lost in terms of productivity if actually you're you're comfortable and you haven't got backache or neck ache? Yeah. Yeah, I think it definitely takes um everyone to kind of come together and especially like you mentioned, pictures online. Um, I think especially within the digital nomad community where people are working from really like beautiful and exotic places, it's you see a lot of photos floating around of people working in I don't even know if they're working, but they're really beautiful pictures. And do you know what? I've spoken <laughs> to some of those people and, you know, and it's, it's fascinating the conversation that you have because they mm -hmm. start off and you go, yeah, do you know what? That's a great photo that you just posted. Uh, you know, you're sat by the edge of the pool and you, you've got your, your laptop there and you, you're, you're working away or whatever. I said, but, you're, but you know, that, what a dreadful position to be working. Not, not what's in front of you. That's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but in terms of your posture, what a dreadful posture to be sat in all day long. And when you start to speak to those people, they say, well, actually, I am getting there, Kate. You know, this is not. So what's the point of what's the point of being in paradise <laughs> if you're in pain in paradise? You know, it, it takes it takes nothing really to to get that right. And the more that we show people as I say that this there is a right way to do this and this this is this is where the cool guys are at this is this is where the, the cool kids are hanging out when they're, they're working this way you do it this way that's when we start to make a difference yeah for sure um so I guess that kind of sums up the product that you have on offer to help with like neck pains and with the like screen being in a good position um what other products does next stand offer to kind of help and um, what are like what are they trying to combat which other like things do people what common problems do you see yeah sure well ju just just to finish off on that one so obviously mm -hmm. when you because this is another sort of uh, modern mythology if you like which is that if you use a laptop stand and you raise the, the the laptop up in the laptop stand you can then just type directly onto the keyboard <laughs> of the laptop um the answer to that is no and actually there's some some really awful laptop stands out there that literally just tilt the the angle of the keyboard but um don't really lift the screen high enough okay and and actually you could still type onto that but actually you'll probably end up hurting your wrists as well because you've then got not just the screen at the wrong height but you've also got over flexed uh, wrists as well so overextended wrist flexing um so they do do a, a full remote working kit um, under the base 12 sign and that will have a mini keyboard in it and there's a, a mouse in there as well so if you want the whole caboodle that all fits in one easy to carry little kit uh, and, and that, that overcomes that issue. But here's another one for you, all right? And this is something we all do. Um, you, get your, you get your ergonomic right, if you like, in, in terms of working with a keyboard and a mouse, right? So you've got your laptop raised up, you've got your keyboard and your mouse there, you're sitting up well, and then what happens? The phone goes off, buzzes, yeah? And 
you're typically then going to check the phone for, for your email or whatever. So you're working away and then you go like this. And then you're back again and then, oh, yeah, just look at that. Yeah. And your head's mm -hmm. down again for, for hours and hours. Or, you know, phones are getting bigger again now, right? They're actually, yeah. a lot of them are getting bigger. So it may be that some information comes in on your phone and you want to actually reference that whilst you're doing work on the computer. But you put your phone by the side of the desk and you're kind of down there like that and then you're typing and you're down. So one of the other products, great little products that I've done is this one. Um, and this is a tablet stroke phone device that actually lifts the height of your phone. Look at that. Oh, Easy. Cool. With a little tilt as well. Also, it's great for re if you get yourself a, a, a tray um, for the bath, it's great for reading books in the bath. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't drop your phone. Um, <laughs> but um, so it's telescopic in height. And then when you finish with it, folds away into your bag. Um, jobs are good again. So that's that's another one because and I've I've actually found that incredibly useful because um, I will use a laptop when I'm out and therefore I use a laptop stand, etc. Uh, and separate keeping the mouse when I'm out and about in uh, when I'm in my office where I work, I use an iMac. Um, so I, I don't need a laptop stand for an iMac. It's mm -hmm. obviously I can raise that to the right height. I've got a razor. For, in fact, I've got a sit stand desk for that. Um, but what I do do is I use this constantly throughout the day because I do put that with the, the um, phone right next to my screen. Um, and if there's anything I need to refer to, WhatsApp messages coming in from, from clients or whatever, then they're there. And I don't, I'm not looking down to the side. I'm not doing this to do them. And, you know, uh, especially as now a lot of the, a lot of the app technology is working between um, yeah. your phone and the, and the desktop, what you can do is you can see it coming in there and you can just pull it across and put it onto your desktop and, and you're away. But there's no need for your neck to be down there. So that's a good one. And then um, last year, uh, they launched a new product, which is a sunshade for your laptop. Now that's quite exciting for all of you remote workers out there. I'm just going to open, I'm, I'm going to open this curtain slightly now because when I started this, it was too bright, but now it's too dark. Okay. I need a little bit more light on the subject. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, that's brilliant because it will go um, right over the top of the laptop. Um, it will work with the K2 as well. So even with the laptop on the K2, that will sit inside this shade. Um, and if you're doing graphics type work, if you're out and about, um, as a freelancer and you're doing graphics type work and you're, you're, you're having to focus on uh, color palettes or, or, you know, looking at photography or things like that, obviously with any kind of sun coming up directly onto your screen, yeah. that becomes really, really difficult. So um, in, you can now go to, to the next time website and buy yourself a tent for your laptop. That's also great for overheating as well. There's been a few times mm. where I've been outside working because it's really nice and sunny, but you kind of forget that your laptop can't always be in the sun. Well, yeah, overheating overheating is a massive, massive problem. Um, it can um, sort of ruin your battery life as well if, if the, the machine starts to overheat. And that's, again, it's another reason, um, going back to the, the design of this, another reason why this works as a design because where the laptop sits into here um so the keyboard element is over this bottom bit and then the screen's up here obviously the whole of the back of it there's nothing there um so <laughs> it means that the, there's proper circulation all the way around and again you know over the years there's been quite a few laptop stands where actually you're putting it back onto a, a, a flat surface again um where every all of the fans are then covered up. Um, yeah. So there's there's no proper circulation there. Glad you mentioned the heat. <laughs> yeah, well, it's something I've experienced with mine and I don't know, having a little sunshade sounds great because then you can enjoy being outside, but you mm. also don't have to worry about your technology overheating. 
Um, so we've started getting in a few questions, if you're happy for me to yeah, ask absolutely. them. Absolutely. Um, the first one is, um, so what is the correct posture to work if there is only one in terms of your neck, your back or your wrists? Uh, there's never one posture. All right, so um, <laughs> there, are new, there are postures which are more neutral, um, but don't ever think there's only one posture. So uh, going a, a little bit back against what I said earlier, you know, if you see people sort of leaning or, 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 or whatever, working with a laptop on a sofa for five minutes or so, that's fine if it's for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but prolonged postures where there's more weight loading on the, um, either on, the, on muscle groups or on the intervertebral discs in the spine that is, um, you know, going to cause some damage is where you're going to have the problems. So obviously, if you're sitting in a hunch posture, your head weighs the same as about uh, five and a half bags of sugar. Wow. Right. So think five, five and a half kilo bags of sugar. That's how much your head weighs. So um, as you start to bring your head forward on your spine, you will start to put pressure on your cervical spine, the, 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 the part of your spine in your neck. Um, and that in turn will also cause you to slouch um, in, in your lower spine because it's trying, the spine will try and compensate. Um, so the, the, the best kind of postures are typically kind of 90 degree angles, but not static. Okay. And that's where I say it's not a posture <laughs> because um, dynamic postures or active postures are better for you. Uh, and that's where you know, alongside the getting your, your posture more lifted with your shoulders back so that you can breathe better uh, and your head and neck in a more neutral position here. It's also important that you get up regularly to move. It's also important that you go for a walk every now and again. Um, you know, it's also important that you, you actually flex all of your muscle groups. So sitting down all day is not good for you. Standing up all day is not good for you. Um, so variations good yeah but there are postures where uh, slouched postures hunched postures where it there are more problems that will be created if you sit in those postures for any length of time yeah i think that's something that um especially if you're working and you're really like in the zone it's difficult to remember to move about and to kind of have those motions yeah set um, breaks set breaks yeah that's a great idea actually yeah, and, but also um, think about task management throughout the day as well. You know, maybe just break up, uh, you know, if you set your diary for the day, um, if you can put breaks in there, but also just think about are there different things that I need to do during the day that can be done in different ways? So, for example, think about those Zoom meetings or, or whatever. It might be um, if you're playing a less... Uh, active role in terms of necessarily typing or whatever in a zoom meeting you could do that standing mm -hmm. yeah so you know maybe think about you know you've got a block of work in the morning where it's a it's a uh, thing that you're doing where you have to focus more and you find it easier to focus when you're sitting down so that's that's true for a lot of people well if that's the case maybe you know build in a two-hour block of you doing that but then go oh do you know what i'm going to do you know, I'm going to put in my Zoom meeting in there to split this up. And when I do my Zoom meeting, I'm going to stand to do that. I'm going to f find a higher surface to work on with my, with my next hand, obviously. Um, and then, you know, make sure that I'm, I'm doing that. You know, maybe building a telephone. Uh, if, if you, you know, it's all right to actually have a telephone call with people sometimes, you know, <laughs> so where it doesn't have to be a Zoom meeting or you're not taking notes. Maybe you can even do that walking. Yeah, that's really good tips. And actually, that leads in quite nicely to our next question. Um, the question is, uh, what about standing desks? Why are they considered better than sitting? Uh, they're not. Um, that's, that's the truth. Uh, <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> marketing, marketing will tell you that it's considered better than sitting. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there is science that says that um, from a heart life point of view, uh, it, it is better for your um, circulatory system, et cetera, and from your heart um, to, to stand up than it is to sit all day 
but ultimately there are a lot of people that have a lot of problems with their mus muscles as well there's a lot of people that um struggle with particular muscle we uh, wastage or weakness conditions or things like uh chronic fatigue syndrome or ms or things like that who will struggle to stand up all day as mm -hmm. well so um the, the the same thing applies with with standing desks um great if you can afford a standing desk please by all means get one um but don't just don't just necessarily stand at it all day and it also might be that you can't focus in the same way when you're standing as you can when you're sitting so you've really got to understand the way that you work as as well as what your body needs um and if you can put all of those things together and go, I can do this task standing, then build that in. And it, you know, over the years, the amount of people I, I saw who had been given a, a sit-stand desk mm -hmm. and all they did was use the height adjustment on it to adjust the height that they were sat at. Okay. <laughs> right. But what they, or, or they stood at it all day long <laughs> and then, then had problems as well. What they didn't do was they didn't, think about a structured routine they didn't think about going do you know what i'm gonna stand to do this then i'm gonna sit to do that then i'm gonna move away from the desk area completely and i'm gonna go and do that it didn't build a routine throughout the day that's the important thing and i guess the routine allows you to vary your position and posture which ultimately will help yeah so a so standing desk will help you to vary your posture uh, it will give you another way of uh working mm -hmm. if you've got the right kind of chair that can go high enough go higher than a, a, a standard sitting position you might even be able to perch at it so you can put another addition in there as well um in fact you can get some chairs that actually allow you to perch from, and tilt the angle more so yeah. you know the more adjustment there is the more adjustability you can have in the way that you work but getting back to remote working who's who's going to take a sit stand desk <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, I guess it's kind of dependent on your situation as well. So the smaller things you can do are going to be the most beneficial, I guess. Yeah, and ultimately, that's I guess that's why, you know, when it comes down to it, this kind of adjustable kit that you can take anywhere with you is probably your priority. Yeah. Okay, because that gives you a better ergonomic wherever you are, even when you're at home sitting wherever it is suddenly if you've got to move out to the kitchen you can get a better work um, environment if you, mm -hmm. if you if it's a nice sunny day suddenly and you need to work outside you can you can get a better work environment you know uh, it it's uh the other things are far more static which is great but how long are, you know how often are you there yeah um we have another question in um what is the future of ergonomic technology are there any more advances that can be done um well there's a lot of advances in, in ergonomic technology and surprisingly some of them won't be where you think they are um it won't all be around furniture uh it may not all be around ergonomic accessories either mm -hmm. um so certainly uh i guess one of the things that that's an ergonomic solution going forward and, and we're already beginning to see more of is AI. Um, and the sort of things that I'm talking about there are building in speech to text technology into pretty much everything. Um, you now know that you can, you know, you can speak to Google on your phone and it understands <laughs> what you're saying and it will do that look up. But that, that sort of technology is already beginning to be there in, in um, some of the notes application apps for mm -hmm. example um, which means that again you know thinking about breaking up your workflow during the day are there things that you can do where you can say all oh, right i'm gonna i'm gonna go walk for a minute or two i'm just gonna talk to my phone i'm gonna i'm gonna you know talk about this that and the other and when you get back to your computer you can upload your ideas and then and then start working on them as a set of concepts that you know you can put into emails or anything else so that's that's something that will really help um i think ergonomics is going to help incredibly in some manual work 
particularly, mm -hmm. I think in terms of uh, eco-skeletons, et cetera, wearable skeletons um, that are gonna help with things like heavy lifting or repetitive uh, work in um, shops and stuff like that, where people are manual handling all the time because it will reduce the, the, the strain on the body and, and ensure yeah. that people are doing it properly. Um, and another one is going to be um, AI around, uh, again, a, a, around things like shops. It will reduce just a way that AI uh, or, or work, it's just the way that AI can reduce some repetitive tasks. Okay. Um, so I think where, where we start to see AI going, right, this grunt work that you need to do where you're cutting and pasting that and you're doing it over and over again. I've now learned that you're doing that a hundred times <laughs> in the next <laughs> last hour. I'll now be able to do that bit for you. So you don't have to do that anymore. Um, that, you know, that reduces the amount of clicks that you're doing there. So actually I can, I can, I'll just get on and do that for you. I'll leave you to be able to do something else instead, but I'm sure we'll find something else to fill that void and that's the thing we're constantly creating different types of work etc so mm -hmm. this has to be a constant evolve um, and the solutions will have to be constant to keep up with the, the different changes of work so we didn't used to work on laptops all, all the time we yeah. do now so you know Ed, watch this space yeah and i guess since the pandemic as well a lot a lot of people's work places have changed correct um, so Correct. yeah it's forever changing um we've come towards the end of our session and i always end it with one last question um obviously this is adapted a bit more towards next stand but um and towards ergonomics what is one piece of advice you would give to digital nomads who are looking to improve their work setting well other than get a next stand yeah. that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good that's a great solution uh um, you know we're undoubtedly tell you where you can go and do that in a minute but um i think one thing to do is actually assess stop and assess what it is that you're doing and how it is that you're working because i think too often people don't do that mm -hmm. going going full um, circle back to where we started this conversation at the beginning um you said when I said that you know I used to go out and assess people that quite often you know people just roll up to to where they work and just get on with it and, yeah and I was amazed over the years just to see how many people when when I started looking at people's workstations or how they were working and I go why have you put that over there you know um so that you're constantly having to bend or stretch for that or you're constantly having to twist for this why, you know, why, why is your telephone right at the back of the desk or whatever? And the amount of times that people said, it's just always been there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've never even thought about it. Um, you know, so that's my, that's my main bit of advice is um, stop and uh, do an assessment. And if you don't know how to, to do that, get an assessment. There's plenty of people who are workplace assessors out there or ergonomists out there. Uh, LinkedIn um, is full of them, um, and so, so is Instagram, um, who can do an assessment of your workstation. It's worth spending that money to get, get an assessment of, you know, what, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? What would work with in my situation? Because something that an expert will, will know is they will understand when you start telling them, this is this is what I do in my day. This is my work mode, if you like. This is how I this is how I do my work. They they'll be able to tell you maybe these are things that you can do to improve the, the flow of your work and how um, to to do that work more productively without getting injured. But they also know looking at the whole situation, looking at you as a person, what bits of equipment to to recommend as well. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. I think that's really valuable because, like you say, we don't always take the time, especially if something's there. It's, um, you know, already just kind of you leave it, you get on with your work and you go. So that's really valuable. Thank you. Um, no so uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Um, and thank you, Graham, for joining me. Um, we do have a discount on our site for the next stand. So if it, anyone is interested in 
getting one, head over to our platform and use the discount code. And if anyone is interested in learning more or talking to Graham, um, how is best for them to get in contact with you? Uh, if they come through to Nextstand um, and, uh, and, and contact Nextstand team through the website, which is www.nextstand.io, um, then uh, and if you leave a message for Graham, then people can get hold of me there. Otherwise, Perfect. you can find me on LinkedIn under Graham Code. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, thanks again, everyone. And join us again next week at 5 p.m. We'll be chatting with Carlos Goncalves, um, who is the co-founder and director of Ivila Spaces co-working in Portugal. Um, so, yeah, well, thank I'm you again, Graham. Oh, Lovely. <laughs> maybe you'll have to check it out. <laughs> I will. <laughs> and thank you again. Thanks, thank everyone, you. for joining. Cheers. Bye for now.